Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today we're going to do the quest Restless Ghost. There are no quest or skills requirements. Also, there are no items required, but if you're a member, one stamina potion or a couple of energy potions helps to speed up the quest. Where to start this quest? Right here, just east of the Lumbridge Castle, inside of the church, where you'll find Father Eric. Talk to him. Select the third option that you're looking for a quest. First option, agree to help. Skip through the dialogue and he will mention a colleague. Exit the church and run south to the graveyard. Exit the graveyard south and just keep running south. Keep running south until you see a mining sign. When you see it, go west. Right when you see another mining sign in the southwestern corner of the Lumbridge Swamp, run north and you'll find a house. Run towards the house and open the door. Inside you will find Father Ernie. Talk to him. Select the second option. Father Eric wants me to talk to you. Select the first option. He has a ghost in his graveyard. And then he will give you a Ghost Peak Amulet. If you want a placeholder Ghost Peak Amulet in your bank, just drop it and talk to him again. Then select the third option that you've lost the amulet. And he will give you another one. Do this as many times as you want. Next, you need to return to the graveyard of Lumbridge. So exit his house and run east. When you've hit River Lum, just run north and you'll find the graveyard of Lumbridge. In the southeastern corner of the graveyard, you'll find a small building. Enter it and you'll find a coffin. Open it and a ghost will appear. Be sure that you've equipped your Ghost Peak Amulet and talk to the Restless Ghost. Then select the first option. Yes, please tell me what your problem is. Skip a bit through the dialogue and he will say that he cannot rest until he has his skull, which lies in the basement of the wizard's tower. That is where we need to go next. So exit the graveyard and run west through the swamp. After continuous walking west, you will hit a ocean. Follow the ocean north. It will go a bit west. Keep following west and you'll, found a, and you'll find a stone path with a bridge. Cross the bridge south.
And now you are at the wizard's tower, located on an island. Enter the building. Then you'll find two doors. Open the southwestern one. You'll find a ladder and a staircase. Climb down the ladder. There, follow the hallway. You'll see a wizard in the western tower, but just keep following the hallway. You will need to enter the second room. Open the door, enter the eastern room, and walk a bit north. Here in the northeastern corner, you will find an altar, which you can search. Click on search, and you will take the skull. But then a level 13 skeleton will try to attack you. You can just walk away from it. You don't have to kill it or attack it. You have the skull, which you will need it. So now you just need to return to the Lumbridge graveyard to complete your quest. You can either teleport back to Lumbridge or walk all the way back. I'm going to use the Lumbridge home teleport, which is faster than just walking. When you've arrived back in Lumbridge, just run a bit southeast to the graveyard. Go to the building, open the coffin. Now if you want to complete your quest, you will gain 1125 prayer experience. If you are a special kind of account, like a pure that wants to say level 11 prayer, but wants to have completed the quest as a treasure, you can just stop here. You have the Ghost Peak Amulet, which is a requirement, and just do desert treasure or the sub-quests for Desert Treasure. You don't need to put the skull into the coffin and you don't need to have the pair experience. For everyone else, just use your skull into the coffin and you'll see a cutscene. And congratulations, you've completed the Restless Ghost Quest. You are awarded with 1 quest point and 1125 prayer experience. This was my guide how to do the Restless Ghost Quest. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.